What we should avoid is putting an undue and sudden strain on the heart. And if the strain becomes too great, then that person becomes a victim of heart disease. This is a film about a strange, paradoxical discovery that promises to save lives. Seventy years ago, Russian scientists posed a bizarre question. Can a heart survive outside the body? Nobody believed it could, so they filmed a dog's heart and even asked a British scientist to vouch for them. I should like to tell you that I have seen some of the experiments shown in this film actually carried out at the All-Russian Physiological Congress. Having succeeded, the scientists set themselves a new challenge. Could they revive a heart? They invented a primitive bypass machine with the blood circulation passing through an external pump. And without blood flowing through it, the heart stopped beating. The equivalent of a heart attack. The heart has stopped. The dog is dead. After a few minutes, they tried to revive it by returning the blood. And it worked, or so they claimed. After 10 to 12 days, the dog returns to its normal state. After the experiment, dogs live for years, they grow, they put on weight and have families. 50 years later, a medical student in the US made a paradoxical discovery. When he cut off the blood flow to the heart for a short time, in fact, gave it a small heart attack, the heart became stronger. We and others, when we first heard this, uh, thought this doesn't make sense. Professor Yellen and his team in London started to dig deeper. It's like being a detective. You know, you, you, you're hunting all the time for clues as to why the heart is doing what it's doing. We believe every single cell in the body has the will to survive. In other words, it's programmed to survive. And therefore, if we can tap into this survival mechanism and understand what is actually going on within a cell, uh, then we can exploit that to the advantage uh, of patients who are having a heart attack. If the blood supply to the heart is cut off for a short time, every cell produces a mysterious cocktail of chemicals. Scientists believe this makes the heart more able to withstand any further attacks. They call this process preconditioning. This heart has been preconditioned. The blood flow is turned off. Without blood, a rat's heart would normally give up after five minutes. But this preconditioned heart is still beating after half an hour. Finally, it stops. What will happen when the blood substitute is switched back on? Professor Yellen and his colleagues struggled for years to find a way to apply this discovery to humans. As you can imagine, technique is everything. Then they discovered an easier way to precondition the heart. It's not necessary to stop the heart. It's enough to restrict the blood flow. Here, this is done using a blood pressure cuff on the arm, and they found that this works just as well. It's so simple. And I think it's the simplicity of it that uh, makes it sound so, so crazy, let's say, but it does work. However, the heart keeps its secrets. No one knows exactly how this works. Normally, it's rather difficult to predict when a heart attack is about to happen, with one exception, scheduled bypass operations. 
Here, surgeons deliberately stop the heart while the blood flows through an external pump. A great shock for the heart and a very complex and risky operation. To reduce the risk in open heart surgery, this paradoxical preconditioning technique is now being trialled at the London Heart Hospital with great success. As a scientist, one's dreaming of things all the time. In my dreams, I see you. Yes, we know much more than we did. Uh, but we still don't know enough and uh, this is why we have to continue researching and that's why I think I've got the best job in the world. <laughs>